Today, Muslims, they're labeled as terrorists. The basic and simple definition of terrorist is a person who causes terror. For example, if a criminal sees a policeman, he's terrified. So for the criminal, the policeman is a terrorist. In this context, I say that every Muslim should be a terrorist. Whenever any criminal sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any rapist sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any robber sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any anti-social element sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. That's what the Quran says in Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 60, that cause terror in the hearts of the anti-social elements. Those people who are killing wrong people, who are against humanity, Quran says, cause terror in their hearts. I know that commonly the word terrorist means terrorizing innocent human beings. In this context, no Muslim should ever terrorize any innocent human being. It is prohibited in Islam. In this context, no Muslim should ever terrorize any innocent human being. It is prohibited in Islam. In this context, no Muslim should ever terrorize any innocent human being. It is prohibited in Islam. In this context, no Muslim should ever terrorize any innocent human being. It is prohibited in Islam. When truth is hurled against falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish.